In this report, I will discuss the four anxieties expats say made them leave their home country and retire in paradise overseas. I like to think of my channel as a happy place where people think about their delightful future, but it's good to know you're not alone if you are feeling anxious about the future, especially if you learn ways other people are overcoming their anxieties. I left the USA 17 years ago and I talked to expats all the time overseas. When I left the USA, it was to explore the world, a goal I had since I was a boy. I've lived in 73 countries since leaving the USA, and I talk to expats, as I say, all over the world. Expats are politically diverse as any other group, but there are common fears they mention when I chat with them. Whether I'm in Asia, Latin America, or Europe, these fears are motivating people to move overseas. I'm not suggesting which of these fears are more likely to happen. I'm just sharing what I hear. I'm letting you into people's heads so you understand what others are thinking. These fears motivate people to move overseas. After I share these fears, I'll share the positive dreams expats have when they leave their home country. Okay, common expat anxieties. Economic anxiety, fears on their mind when they moved overseas, recessions, government mismanagement of debt, deficit spending, fear of AI's future effects on human jobs, wealth inequality, declining middle class, long-term viability of social security, and more recently, climbing interest rates, skyrocketing living costs, but static wages, soaring stock prices unjustified by traditional financial analysis, hyperinflation, unsustainable government debt causing hyperinflation. Today I googled the following question. When was the last time the U.S. debt was lower at the end of a year than it was at the beginning of that same year? Here's how Google replied. The last year the U.S. debt was lower at the end of the year than it was on January 1st was in 1835 when the public debt was reduced to zero under President Andrew Jackson. Now, I'm no economist, but I was wondering at what point will the debt be so high that we won't ever be able to pay it off? So I googled, when does federal debt reach unsustainable levels? According, according to Wharton Business School in the USA, and I quote from their webpage for which I provide a link, uh, the first link in the notes below this video, U.S. debt held by the public cannot exceed 200% of GDP or gross domestic product. So next I Google, what is the U.S. debt right now as a percentage of GDP? Google AI replied, as of November 2024, the U.S. debt to GDP ratio is 123%. So a debt ratio of 200% GDP is sustainable according to Wharton Business School, and the U.S. economy is currently at 123% of GDP. So the fear that the current level of debt will bankrupt Social Security or cause hyperinflation in the USA economy has not been reached yet, according to Wharton. So as Mark Twain once never said, the reports of the U.S.'s debt are greatly exaggerated. But if the fear of hyperinflation will motivate politicians to keep the U.S. debt at sustainable levels, that would be a good thing. But other fears, like what will happen to humans if AI's robots displace 50% of human employment, that has not been resolved yet. That will depend on what governments do in the future. But it would be a good thing overall for people to not spend everything they receive each month and save some for a rainy day. Okay, the next anxiety is, is security anxiety. Fear of increase in criminal uh, crime and violence, political polarization of left and right leading to civil war, data security breaches leading to identity theft, fear of human caused violent weather patterns, and recently, fear of world war. The next is technological anxiety, digital divide, fear of falling behind new technology, fear of job loss due to new technologies, loss of online accounts, 
fear of video conferencing, and more recently, fear of being locked out of bank access. The fourth one is mental health anxieties. Chaos of a fast changing modern world, fear that politicians are asleep at the wheel, fear that humanity is going in the wrong direction, and more recently, a loss of hope in the future. Those are the main anxieties people share with me. Next, I'll share some of the dreams people have when they move overseas. Expat dreams when moving overseas. But first, can moving overseas solve all of the problems of the world? Absolutely not. But here is how it may help individuals in a more personal way. Economic anxiety. Lower living costs can reduce financial stress, allowing you to live more comfortably on less. Retirees can increase savings when general cost of living are lower. Reduce the pressure of keeping up with the Joneses that is stronger in our home countries. Disconnecting with bad spending habits is easier when you exit the environment that triggers your impulsive spending patterns. Security anxiety is naturally reduced in countries not engaged in political conflict with their neighbors. Fear of crime and violence can be lower in paradise locations with lower crime rates. Okay, mental health anxieties. A change of environment and newfound belief in a better future can increase the motivation for steps necessary for positive outcomes in your life. The more relaxed feeling of overseas lifestyle can improve mental well-being. With the slower pace and fewer financial demands, retirees can focus on hobbies, friendships, and beautiful natural surroundings, thereby increasing overall mental health. Finally, what dreams do expats have when they move overseas? You probably already know if you're still watching. Expat dreams when moving overseas slower paced lives. They want to live in cultures where people focus on lifestyle instead of commercialism. They don't want to watch the clock anymore. They want to relax more, be spontaneous more, and not be so tied to a schedule. They want to be in charge of their own lives again. More sex, more love. They hope that the slower pace will allow them to relax completely. They want sex in the middle of the day. They want to be able to afford a maid so they can focus on personal things instead of doing house cleaning. They want to fall in love again with their life. Money left over at the end of the month, they're willing to be responsible with their money. But they also want to live where they have enough money to experience life and yet have money left over at the end of the month. Peace and quiet. They want to live a simple daily life, not all wound up in gossip. They want to focus on what gives them inner peace instead of focus on, on all that is wrong in the world around them. They want a simple life of joy, peace, and quiet. Feeling alive again? They want to feel alive again. They want to have some adventure in their life. They want to be proud of themselves again. They want to try new things, experience life, and, and go out in a bang instead of a whimper. After I started this channel, people started to see how I was living and they said, I want to do this. So I started a retire overseas course, a make money online course, and I have over 300 reports that teach people how to retire in paradise overseas for much less. Thanks for watching.